Well, welcome back. We're going to do another juicing, um, more along the lines of like a lunch for tomorrow. Uh, but before we do that, I just want to show you my beet uh, juice that I bottled. It's very red. I mean, I'm probably going to be accused of being a vampire tomorrow at work, but it is very delicious and it's ready to roll. Um, yeah, th this stuff is really, really good. Um, I did screw up today. I had a carrot, the carrot juice I made. Um, for some reason I was having like a protein deficiency. I have no clue, but I had to go to McDonald's and get some of their nasty food. And uh, had like a chicken sandwich on the dollar menu. So, but uh, I'm trying not to cheat. I'm gonna merge, try to like slowly merge into this. But uh, this tomorrow is gonna be my breakfast. It's a beat. I'll probably take it to the gym with me tomorrow and drink it on the way home. Um, and then may have a cup of coffee on the way to work or whatever. But uh, that's this. So what I want to do now is a uh, what's near and dear to my heart. Um, and to probably all my friends' hearts when they come over is I'm going to do a salsa uh, juice and the recipe calls for two tomatoes but we're using aromas which aren't really juicy and I think three is probably even really not enough but we're gonna start out with three um, and then we're gonna do a lot of cilantro because Janine likes cilantro quarter onion half of a lime, and it calls for a full jalapeno. It calls for a full jalapeno, but uh, we're gonna do, because Janine's kinda weak, uh, we're gonna do like a half. These aren't even hot. I mean, I could probably like eat it, whatever. Um, no salt, no pepper. Uh, I was gonna put garlic in, but Janine doesn't want garlic. I'll probably do garlic for mine. Uh, but first we're going to see how this tastes and see how much we can yield off of this. We may have to add a tomato or two. Alright, so let's get started. Let's throw... Don't forget about this. I always start, yeah, I always... Don't look at the food. Me. I'm the main attraction, not the food. <laughs> not the food, um, yeah, I should start this off and put the like the tomatoes in there and then turn it on. What about the cilantro? What about it? It's right there. Alright. Oh, can I fit cilantro in this? Who's the chef? Who who's the juicer? Me. Alright, that's wrong. much as I thought. So give me one second. So the result that we got here is this. Kind of got a pink head with a reddish pink middle and then a green base. And I'm pretty sure the majority of that juice right there is probably tomato. Romas don't produce a lot of juice. Um, so if we use regular tomatoes, I'm sure this would probably, have, I probably wouldn't have, a, have to have added that third one, but let's mix it around and let the uh, guinea pig do the test. Again, I altered the recipe quite a bit because 
I'm the king of salsa. Just FYI. So where's your cup? I'm a little nervous about liquid you're, salsa. Yeah, you're a little nervous? You want me to try it? Not a lot, not a lot. No, you want me to try it? I don't want a lot. Oh. I think you'll like it. It's very tomato-y. It's probably not going to be your favorite because... I think it's good. It's not bad. No, it's um, it's very tomato. I can tell the jalapeno because I'm more. You can, you can feel the jalapeno. Yeah, it's. Um, I don't need salt and pepper. So you're fine with this. I'm fine with that. I can probably be fine with this too. Salt and pepper. Yeah, it's. It's good just the way it is. All right, you know, I was it? very nervous about this one. This I don't one? know why. It's not bad? No, it's good. Alright, so you want to bottle of this? The only thing that makes me nervous because this is my lunch is how thin it is. Right. Like, I don't know how filling it'll be. Well, that's why I'm going to make chicken so we can uh, have protein or something to go with it. I mean, there's nothing wrong with having, there's nothing wrong with the juice diet and protein to go along with it. You really want to eliminate, obviously, carbs. Um, as and much I'm, as possible. And I'm eliminating dairy right now. Eliminate dairy, any pasta, right. flour, wheat, stuff like that. Um, like for me, I'm still doing eggs, I'm still doing steel cut oats, which suck to cook. I hate them, but they're really, really good. Um, for the most part, you know, I eliminate all the bad stuff, but I'm still going to do, I have to have protein. I have to. I mean, there's no ifs, ands, or buts. Well, you're working out, and they say you can't work out. I mean, there's a lot on of an all juice diet. Well, there's a lot of vegans out there that claim they don't take any type of protein supplements. Um, I mean, they could they they may take like a plant protein, um, but there's no way that me as of right now can stop cold turkey in the middle of this CrossFit Open and just like not have a steak or not have chicken or not have shrimp or fish right um i'll just eliminate as much fat as possible so but here's your lunch for tomorrow awesome enjoy thank you you're welcome till next time